of Detroit's deadliest weekend this year comes as the city police force insists the streets are getting safer. Investigator Simon Shaquette holding the department's feet to the fire on this and showing us new surveillance video from a cold blooded killing. As we speak, Detroit police investigating more than a dozen shootings over the weekend. That includes six murders, all the while trying to explain this recent spike in violence. This map shows the extent of the gun violence throughout Detroit. We can just shoot and don't care how that's going to affect our community, our families, the people that we know. Brutally murdered in the Motor City, Detroit police say six victims gunned down between Good Friday and the end of Easter weekend were among a total of 15 shot. A mother of three, Erica Farley, had just become an assistant church pastor. She was inside this home on Balfour early in the morning when a coward pulled up and started firing. She was definitely a woman of faith. She believed in helping people. She had a big heart, always with a big smile. Today, police releasing surveillance video from another deadly shooting early Saturday morning. Detectives looking for the drive-by gunman inside a vehicle seen here. Someone who murdered Gary Williams, a.k.a. Big Rowl, off of Michigan Avenue. He was a father of four and called the Motor City his home. We do actually, as of this morning, have uh, somebody in custody on one of the homicides. Uh, over the weekend. Today at a press conference at police headquarters, a deputy chief saying detectives are making progress. Still, even a seasoned member of the force is at a loss, trying to explain it all amid claims crime is going down. I don't don't have a good answer for that. I mean, like like I said in the beginning, none of these cases seem to be related to each other. Detroit police are actively following up on leads, but also asking for the public's help. If you have any information, contact them right away. From downtown Detroit, Simon Chaquette, 7 Action News.